The lush, rolling landscape, the hills bejeweled with wineries, and some of the happiest cows, some say, in the world. This, my friends, is Piedmont, Italy, where a new competitor emerges. The Piedmontese state, lean, mean, and willing to challenge Australian Wagyu. And in the other corner, our reigning champion, ready to challenge anybody that comes into the ring, Australian, Australian Wagyu. Wagyu! My friends, this is Battle of the Gentlemen, I am tonight's announcer, Talon. Welcome to Battle of the Beast. Tonight, a very special night, as we have a new contender willing to challenge Australian Wagyu for the title. We want a clean fight, so we're simply going to salt them and a little pepper. We will also flip them over and do the same on the other side. To further our efforts to have the cleanest, fairest fight, we are simply going to put them on a pan at low heat, trying to avoid a crust, just to have the most accurate interpretation of their flavor as possible. Now, folks, there's been many a claim that the Piedmontese steak can be just as juicy and tender as the best prime we have here in the States, while still maintaining its lean healthiness. Oh, we will see. Tonight's judges have decided to remove the steaks at exactly 130 Fahrenheit for these steak battles. We always decide to go with strip steaks as we believe it is the most consistent and accurate interpretation of flavor that we can find in a steak. Let's begin! What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the next installment of Battle of the Food! Good. You ready, bro? I am yeah. so excited because today a new challenger emerges. From Piedmont, Italy, we have Piedmontese versus the reigning champion, Australian Wagyu, marbling score of nine versus a marbling score of uh, zero? Nobody knows. I think it's zero because there's no fat in it yeah. whatsoever. So this should be an interesting battle, guys. Thank you so much for joining us and watching us eat. <laughs> <laughs> and eat well. Yes. So, Trevor, what do you think? I think, if I may, I think we need to start with the reigning champion, Australia. Yep. Because we we need to kind of like remind ourselves where we left off on the last one i agree which was a while ago and by the way guys thank you so much for all the views we love y'all keep watching keep watching <laughs> and and then we'll move on to italy afterwards what do you think let's do it let's do it all right guys first off australia australia i can't say australia australian montes you know what i love about australia the Fosters. The Fosters and the women. Akadaka. You know what that is, right? Oh! He's got it. <laughs> Always represent. Represent. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You're the guest, so you pick the first the first slice. But you're the cook. You're the guest. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's got a knife next to him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just cut off a little bit because I can't fit this whole piece in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Australia. Drum roll. All right, now. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Mm. Memories of a not too distant past. Good memories. Good memories. Australia, give it to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right there. We got gotcha. you. 
It's, it's just amazing. Even cold, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Italia, are you ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, the challenger, begin. Cook looks good. Yeah. I mean, does the cook look good? <laughs> cook looks great. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Italy. Hmm. Hmm. So, the first thing that comes to my mind, and you guys saw, we barely saw any intramuscular fat. Um, it is way juicier and tender than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. What about you? I agree. There's yeah? a different flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah, it does taste different. I can't put my finger on it yet. I think because it's grass fed, mm. maybe, they just kind of graze on the pastures in Piedmont, northern Italy, living the sweet life. And in Australia, they live the sweet life because they get to get to drink beer. And they have ideal climate all year. And they get to listen to ACDC. They get to listen to ACDC. The cows are happy cows. Probably why the steak is pretty rocking. So, wow. Should we do another round? I, I, should we start with Piedmontese this time? Let's take another bite. It's juicy. It is. I thought, guys, I thought I was going to say, in my mind, before I started this, that there's no, you can't compare the two because they come from two separate worlds. Mm -hmm. Because that one had like zero fat, but it's not the case. Piedmontese is actually pretty decent. It is. Um, wow. It's so, hard to get also. It's a worthy challenger. I know. I was not expecting that, like mm -hmm. juiciness and tenderness. Yeah. Let's try this trailing one more time. Look at that. Piece for you and a piece for me. Perfect. All right. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. <laughs> It's bloody awesome. It's bloody awesome. <laughs> All right, Trevor. You want to have one more of the Italian? Fair shot. Let's give it a fair shot. Um, here. Let, let, let me cut it. Can I, let me use your knife. You don't care? Yeah. All right. This is the first time we're sharing saliva. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> don't call the COVID police. <laughs> All right, I'll take. You know what? I'll take that one. Actually, never mind. We're not sharing anything. Crisis averted. <laughs> Crisis averted. All right, Piedmont. Here we go. All right, I've got a statement to make. Without my mouth so full. Piedmontese tastes steakier. Gamey. Ga yeah, game here, a little slightly. Not a lot. It's not like, it's nothing near venison, right? No. Nothing like that. It's not bad. Um, slightly game here, mm -hmm. probably because of the grass. But steakier than, from what I'm used to, because mm -hmm. I'm used to eating not wagyu. Right. Um, if that's a term. And this, this is freaking awesome. I don't know, this is a tough one. I mean, I, it is tough, um, but I, I mean, what, what are we rating this on? The, just this which just, one is better? Okay, let's go back to the old litmus. Which one can you eat more than twice a week? Mm. Or which one will you crave more than twice a week? So there's the, what, what I would do is if you're watching your way, You'd like to just eat a very lean yeah. piece of meat. Yeah. The Italian with Absolutely. virtually zero fat is yeah. a winner. Absolutely, yeah. If you're looking at like healthy, you're looking for lean proteins, um, which I'm familiar with, you know, mm -hmm. I like to work out. So yes, absolutely. The, the Italian has as much fat on it as Dennis yeah. does. 
So, <laughs> that's makes sense there. But the Australian, it's just yeah. It's heavy. If you want to talk about a steak making you crave it, yeah, the Australian makes me crave it. I, you know what, guys, I agree. Obviously, I always agree with Trevor. And today, <laughs> I super agree. Ah, uh, Australia wins again. The thunder from down under. The thunder from down under. Australian beef, beef style. <laughs> Australian Wagyu wins a second time. Who will take the belt from Australia? The bar is high. The bar is high, guys. And remember, this is just our opinion. You know, you guys can have your own opinion, but regardless, we're so glad that you stuck around and watched us. And we're just so excited to bring these Battle of Beef episodes to you. Please stay tuned for the next one. And if you agree with us and you try it, let us know. Let us know if you disagree, what you think. Or if you have a worthy challenger, we'd like to know. Absolutely, yeah, that's a great idea, Trev. If you've got something on your mind that you think would possibly rival Australian Wagyu, Marbling Score of Nine, Please let us know in the comments because we want to try it and we want to put it up against our champion. And please, guys, if you like our channel, it really helps if you subscribe to us, click that bell, and um, stay tuned for the next one. And uh, tell your friends, tell your family, get the word out. Australian Wagyu. Yes, Australian Wagyu. Who will be the next contender? Hmm. Only time will find out. Stick with us. We love y'all. And 